Hello everyone. I'm working on some uh, indoor planters because uh, we have some uh, plants inside that we uh, um, want to change in different positions. So I was uh, first step. I got some wood and I was uh, sanding them the uh, sides here. Then I'm going to uh, start doing some cuts and putting them together. And uh, the size um, that I chose was based on what wood I had available. So some of this, uh, this is my uh, limitations here. And um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I took a break and uh, <clears throat> mowed the lawn using uh, a push mower. I have a gas mower. And I can do it quickly and easily that way, but I used the, the push more the law uh, because I get more exercise, so I sweat it up a lot, I'm trying to lose some weight. Anyway, now what I'm going to do is um, I had already used the uh, belt sander to do the sides. Now I'm going to use this palm sander to uh, touch up uh, the sides, uh, the, the edges rather, and I uh, hope it looks a little bit better. Okay, so at this point I've uh, used my belt sander to sand the sides and then I used the palm sander to do the uh, edges here. Now the wood is not perfect, so uh, this is reclaimed wood. So there's going to be some uh, uh, marks that the sanders couldn't uh, really get to. So at this point, what I do got to do is uh, use two files. These are my two favorite files here. One side is art, the other side is flat, and then this one is a round file. And uh, I am not looking at perfection here. My goal is to simply uh, smooth out and kind of round off the uh, the edges here. So when you feel it with your hand. Uh, you don't get any splinters and it doesn't feel rough, it feels smooth. So I have some uh, some rough spots here and I'm going to work on them with, uh, with the file a little bit to just kind of round it off a little bit here.
what I'm doing now is I'm going to put the, the basic box together and there'll be uh, several and then I will put two boxes together to increase the width uh, there and that's going to be the basic um, uh, structure and then afterwards uh, I will put the uh, the casters on but before that I'll, I'll stain it and uh, and put the polyurethane so right now I'm just putting the box together just screwing the sides together to align uh, all the pieces as best I can and then clamp them together so they don't move while I'm uh, screwing the, the, the pieces together. Well, it's all assembled now. Put all the screws in there. So now, this is uh, what it looks like. This is basically it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take it inside, see if it fits where it's supposed to fit, and see if uh, Mrs. Wanderer likes it. And if it's okay with her, uh, then we can stain it. Oh, you know what I forgot? We still have to put the casters on the bottom. I'm gonna do that right now. Let's see if I got them in position now. Okay, let's see how this looks. Okay, now it's finished except for the staining. Um, so that's all I'm going to do right now and wait till uh, quality control approves this. Well, I had a little helper. Here, I don't know where he came from. Um, small enough to get through the gate, obviously. But let's see, maybe he'll help me. Okay, well, we'll see how much he helps. Okay, looks like our first prototype 
didn't, uh, you know, didn't uh, meet quality control because the uh, this is too narrow, and then the plants, uh, the pots, might tip over. So we had some concerns here. The second problem was that this shelf was too low, too much below the windowsill, and. Uh, the sun wouldn't shine on the plants as well. So the plan is to make it a triple to widen the base for the uh, pots to uh, sit on. So hopefully that'll be more stable. And then I'm going to raise that so that this part, uh, this part is up higher so the plants can get some more sunlight. So we'll see how this prototype goes. Getting some help there from this little guy. Okay, so I have uh, I finished prototype number two. This prototype number one and prototype number two. And what I did was I made it wider here to make it more stable, so the pots won't fall off. And then I. Uh, I elevated the bottom so that the pots here are higher up, uh, closer to the windowsill so they can get more sun. So, uh, the next, uh, next step now would be to go ahead and take it inside and give it a test ride and uh, see if it fits. And if it does, then uh, they will stain it. Well. I'm going to tell you, this project was a bust. I am just not happy with it at all. I had uh, a lot of challenging problems uh, with this. With the uh, uh, pallet wood, you know, there are curves and twists, and I could never get uh, a lot of the ends to align just right. And then the, the right angles were kind of difficult. And then sometimes when I would put uh, uh, two pieces together, as soon as I started putting the screws in, there'd be a little movement. And so we end up with a, a mismatch. And and I'm just, uh, well, disappointed. So uh, I'm going to stop working on this here. This is as far as I'm going. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dismantle it. And it's not going to be wasted. I'm going to reuse the, the screws and the wood. And I don't consider my uh, the time spent on it as wasted time because I'm constantly learning something. You know, how to position the wood, how to uh, uh, brace it, uh, and how to join it together. So, um, it was a learning experience. But, this is as far as I'm going to go. And, thank you for watching.